Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can do multi-threading programming in Golang. We'll be using a function called GoRoutine and let's get started. For the first thing I want to do is to introduce to you a tool called Go Playground. So basically, this is a tool that allows you to program your Golang program and then run it. This is free and it's online. So if you're not familiar with this Go Playground, this yellow area is where you write your program. This gray area is the output of the program. To run the program, simply click on run. Format will format uh, your program, which means they give you indents and all that stuff. And once you return the program, you can share with the rest of the world. So the first thing I want to do would be to write a routine called print alphabet. Function print alphabet. And all the alphabet letters. And run a for loop to display the alphabet in the array and then maybe I'm gonna put a 50 seconds milliseconds time delay okay so that is my print alphabet function the next thing I want to do would be I'm gonna go ahead and print numbers print numbers I'm gonna run a for loop and I'm gonna print numbers from 1 to 9 and give a time delay again of 50 milliseconds okay so basically we have two functions that basically the first function prints the alphabet A to Z in a loop with 50 milliseconds delay and the second one basically prints uh, numbers from 1 to 9 with 50 seconds delay just to demonstrate this what we're going to do next is to invoke those functions so let me do a single thread call first and then call that function and then print a blank and then uh, after that we're going to call the print number functions and then print a blank just like that so if I were to run this now by clicking run here what it does is that uh, essentially it prints the alphabet followed by numbers let me make this a bit larger like that if I want to uh, asynchronously run this uh, print alphabet and numbers which means they run in parallel and sequence this is what you have to do I'm gonna give it multi-threading now I'm gonna say go print alphabet and then go print numbers and then I'm gonna put a delay here in five seconds before the program exits okay the reason why I put this delay let me hit the format here so that it formats nicely here the reason why I put delay here is because program is running asynchronously so when you call go print alphabet what it does is that it creates its own thread and print numbers creates its own thread so uh, it just invokes invokes and the program will exit so if you don't have this time delay uh, you will not see any output at all I'll demonstrate to you later towards the end but now if I were to hit run A B C D all the way to Z one two three nine and you can see that the uh, alphabet and numbers are all mangled up together because the second time when you call alphabet and numbers we are using a go routine so you can see if I run it again then they, they are never going to be the same watch this can see there was a number on the fourth one and this time around is different let's run again one more time and there you go so this is how you do asynchronous programming so one thing to remember if I were to comment this thing out here like that and hit run watch what happens this to get its own thread and what the main program does is invoke invoke and exit and doesn't give you time to actually print it out so you have gotta have a time delay so that you can actually allow the thread to run and output on this gray screen here. Well, I hope we learned something from this. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.